Hi, I'm Chris Ingram. I'm one of the interventional radiology attendings here at Harborview Medical Center. I work here and at the University of Washington in the Department of Interventional Radiology. So interventional radiology, I tell people, think of it as uh, procedures using imaging guidance. So um, one way of dealing with the patient if they're bleeding badly, where they're almost dying, you can take them to the operating room, cut them open, look for the problem. But that's pretty invasive and it might be hard to find where the bleeding is. So if we do a CAT scan on a patient beforehand, we can say, okay, they're bleeding right in this one spot in their pelvis or right here in their liver. Um, if we bring them to our procedure room, we go into the blood vessels that supply the liver or supply the pelvis, inject the dye to see where they're bleeding from, and we can stop that bleeding from the inside. So really the basis of what we do, it's something called Seldinger technique, which is um, gaining access with a needle, and through the needle goes a wire to hold our spot. We can take the needle out, the wire is still in the patient, and then we're able to thread a catheter or tube into the patient. So now we've gained access and we can proceed from there. So inject whatever it is, whether it's medication, um, and embolic is a term we use which means to stop bleeding or shut down a blood vessel territory. We use a lot of coils, which basically are just little pieces of metal that plug up um, abnormal vessels or areas of bleeding. Basically, at the end of the procedure, the patient just has a small little nick, we say, or small hole in their vessel um, that is easy for us to close up as opposed to doing a big surgery. So here's a patient that um, got into a car accident and unfortunately broke her pelvis. So we're looking at a CAT scan of this patient, which is basically a specialized form of x-ray where they take x-rays in all directions around the patient and they're able to recreate an image. Um, and she was somebody who they had a high suspicion she was bleeding. Her blood counts were dropping, so she came to our procedural area. Uh, but you can see on this image, um, we get in here with a catheter or small tube um, and a wire going through. So we inject dye, we're able to get a road map of where we're going, and this is injecting dye uh, in the various blood vessels that are in her, in her pelvis. So that's why I said, you know, you're really using live x-rays and, and injecting a dye kind of helps set the roadmap for you of where you need to go.